Hey guys, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a first impressions video. First thing I want to say is I've got a new ZT box here and it says experience it. They've given up on the built like a tank and gone with premium performance. And I think that was a good move for them. ZT had pivoted away from the hard use stuff a long time ago. And I kind of wish they would have sort of embraced that and just said, yeah, we, we are not so much into tactical hard use knives anymore. We're going to do high end folders. And like we've all known that, but maybe they didn't initially, or they were trying to hold on to a customer base or whatever the case may be. Uh, the first impression I've got for you is on the zero tolerance, zero 707. And I've got to first off say, you know, this, you can just look at this and right away identify it as one of the sort of 700 lineup. Uh, you know, it, it's got some styling cues from the 777, the 0770, the bare knuckle, right? All of these sort of have uh, a little bit of, of influence here that's fairly obvious. The one thing I have to say is this is one of the slimmest, lightest knives I have seen. I, you know, there could be others out there that do as good a job, but I'm gonna give you the specs on this in a couple of minutes. I, I would challenge anyone to find a knife that the same size, similar utility, and weighs the same or less, okay? That, this is pretty impressive from that, uh, from that perspective. A uh, quick rundown here, we have this nice blade up front with 20 CV steel, swedge here, flat grind, stonewash finish, a uh, pretty decent job on the blade overall, uh, very thin blade stock. This is definitely, you know, meant to slice. This is not traditional ZT blade stock at all. Uh, moving down here to the pivot, we have a ball bearing pivot, uh, titanium frame lock, really nice decorative uh, pivot screw there. Now, one thing that is different is that they're using the, ouch, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Nothing like when the, the reviewer cuts himself on video. Um, so they're using the double detent system, which means that the actual detent setting is right here at the end of my index finger. So see that little detent ball and that flat uh, leaf spring, that's what controls the detent on this knife. And I think that's actually a pretty cool option. Uh, we'll talk a lot more about that in the full review. Just wanted to show it to you for now and point out that when you're opening and closing this, uh, I want you to see that when you get the knife totally closed, there's the detent set, but the lock bar doesn't move which is kind of an interesting way of doing that. The other thing I will say is that detent ball is putting constant pressure on the blade. So it's not quite a drop shut action, but I will see if I can mess with that and put some oil on the pivot and see if things change a little. Um, <clears throat> moving on from the pivot there, we've got carbon fiber and titanium, really nice milling here. We've got this little opening hole as they have done on a couple of other models really cool way of doing this clip. Look at this. This is sort of reminiscent of the 0562 where you drop the clip in, put the screw through. Uh, let's see, you can see down there where it attaches. Hold on. There you go. I think there you can see how that's going to drop in and kind of get squeezed under that uh, that screw insert. So very, very cool doing, way of doing the pocket clip. Very small. You know, this is one of those knives you could carry this and not even know you have it. And that's where this really stands out. So size and weight is the last thing I want to touch on before we're finished here with this first impressions. This is eight and three sixteenths overall, three and nine sixteenths on the blade. So just a hair over three and a half inches, four and 11 sixteenths on the handle. So again, just a hair over four and five eighths three and three quarter grip area, so pretty generous, and 2.3 ounces. I cannot think of another knife that's over eight inches that weighs 2.3 ounces. That is impressive. And that combined with this clip, it, like this is a knife that is like just made of nothing. It's really, really cool from that perspective. If you don't want to uh, you know, if you want something very light and completely unnoticeable, uh, that's that's where I think this really shines. So we've got a pretty cool knife here. I'm going to spend some time with it. I'm going to see what I think overall. And I am going to, as soon as I shut this off, actually, I'm going to see what I can do about the action on this. Um, see if I can improve it. I'll, I'll update over on Instagram. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. Oh, yeah, by the way. Uh, don't forget to check, sorry about that guys. I keep forgetting to say, don't forget to check the channel sponsors. That does help the channel an awful lot. Again, thanks a lot for watching. We'll talk to you soon.